I'm going to focus on page two now and show you how to create a slideshow. So in order to do that, I'm going to left click on my layer called images, then go to file and place. So in our links folder, which again, you'll find in journalism, layouts, and then links, we have a series of images that start with slideshow. So I'm going to select all of these, six of them. Make sure you don't have show input options turned on because that gets really tedious and click on open. So all six will load into the cursor. From here, I'm just going to left click at the side of the page in here. Now they've all been sized exactly correct to match this page. So just by left clicking, it will deposit them uh, around the page at the size that they were created at. And then I'm going to hover my selection tool across that region and drag to select all six images. At the top here, I'm going to make sure that the uh, alignment options are set to align to page. You can also find those options in the properties panel as well with the same drop down menu align to page. I'll then choose to align to the left edge of the page and then align centrally to the page like so. I'll go down to the panel we added in our workspace called object states. Now, if you don't have that, you can go to the window menu to interactive and then we have object states in there. Rather bizarrely, if you refer to this feature online, it will be classed as a multi-state object or an MSO. And from here, well, it tells us that we can click the new button to make each object that we have selected a separate state or option click to make them all part of the same state. Well, we need to have a slideshow of six images. So if I go down to the bottom and click on that, it'll convert all of those images into one to six states. I'll select the name of the multi-state object, just call this slideshow. If I zoom into the lower left-hand side of the page, we have a couple of buttons again. Switch to my selection tool and then click on those buttons. Now, at this point, you could, if you wish to, lock the images layer because these buttons are already in the interactive layer. And you'll see that they do have under buttons and forms, all of the characteristics apply to them, such as the appearance for the rollover and the normal state, and they have names assigned but they don't have currently an action applied to them. With the previous button active, if you go to actions and then click on the plus, in this case, it's gonna be go to previous state. And then InDesign will take a look at your document page and try and detect if there's a multi-state object. And the only one that's on here is the one called slideshow. So that's the one it picks by default. If you turn on the checkbox underneath for stop at first state, when the user clicks on the button and they get to the first slide, well, then it stops and they know they've reached the beginning point of the slideshow. My personal preference is to turn that on. Again, down for the description, you could write something in there. I'm going to leave it in this case. We've already covered that. And then I'm going to select the next button. So the top will be at next, click on actions and then go to next state. And again, it detects our slideshow and I'll turn on the checkbox for stop at last date. If I then go to file and choose save, I can then head to interactivity preview, click on play. And then first thing to do is to test the rollovers. They both work. And then from here, I'll click on next slide and see and make sure that I can cycle through all of those images until I reach the end slide and it will stop. And they can go backwards and just double check that that works as well and stops at the first slide. And this is a perfect example of the benefits of interactive documents. Rather than having one static image in print, we can make that area do so much more for us by having multiple images in the same space. And that's how you create a multi-state object in the form of a slideshow.